Sometimes we have more stuff than we can actually manage to use. A lot of these things are just lying around the house or hidden away somewhere, collecting dust and taking up space. Oftentimes we're too busy, too lazy, or sometimes even too sentimental about some of the things we own that we don't actually use. And that's why they're still here, unused and unwanted. Welcome to Jensen's DIY. In this video, we will discuss 14 smart ways to repurpose, reuse, and upcycle old stuff. 1. Don't throw away toilet paper rolls just yet, as you can upcycle these rolls and give them a new lease on life by painting them or covering them with wrapping paper. Keep unused cords and cables in each of the paper rolls and organize them in an old shoebox so they're not getting tangled up on the floor and waiting for you to trip over them. That way, it will be easier for you to find those cords once you're ready to use them. 2. Tattered and hole-ridden jeans may be a fashion fad nowadays, but if they've become too torn to be worn, you don't need to get rid of them. You can use the fabric to cover a bench or an old chair. Make a patchwork of different tones of denim fabric to perk up a seemingly boring room. For the complete DIY guide, check out Frugal Family Times. 3. Got some old cheese boxes you want to throw away? Give your wall a vintage touch by turning your old cheese boxes into artsy shelves. Take the cheese box lid, cut it out, and glue it onto the center of the cheese box, like a shelf, to display lightweight decor pieces. Glue a worn leather belt around the cheese box, leaving enough slack to be able to hang the shelf by the belt on a wooden peg. This piece is sure to give your room an elegant country vibe. 4. Love the quirky, nerdy style? Sew your old shirts, sweaters, and other clothing items into cushion covers for an interesting look for your living room or bedroom. Choose old clothes in varying shades of a single color for a monochromatic look. You can also include the pockets when you cut out the fabric to store some potpourri, lavender bags, or other trinkets. First wash, dry, and iron your shirts if necessary. Next, measure your pillow. If necessary, create a template for it. Turn the shirt inside out and make sure the two pieces are aligned the way you want. And then you can start sewing. Once the fabric has been stitched, you can unbutton it, turn it inside out, and then stuff your pillow inside the cover. 5. If you've got extra skewers at home, you can create an artistic knife block by attaching the bottom part of all the sticks together. After gluing the skewer together, you can tie them together with twine or a backer rope or any woven rope. Use a wooden slab of the right size to mount the skewer creation for a more professional look. 6. If you've got an old ladder that's too risky to climb, you can give it a new chance at life by turning it into a bookshelf. Cut a long ladder into smaller pieces and then glue or nail them onto your wall to display your book collection. Don't worry if the ladder looks old. The more worn out, the better, as it will give the shelf a vintage look. 7. Suitcases with broken clasps shouldn't be thrown in the trash just yet. Upcycle them by turning them into chairs. You can add the right size pillows to create a cushion for the chair as well. You can also use foam and fabric to make your DIY chair more comfortable. As for the legs, screw attachments onto the bottom of the suitcase. You can also paint your old luggage and apply varnish on the legs to give it a fresh look. Check out the step-by-step -step guide on Lexi Keen. 8. Make dainty bookshelves out of old books. For this project, you will need hardbound books that you no longer read or are just collecting dust in the basement. You will also need two L brackets for each bookshelf, plus flathead screws, plastic anchors, a one quarter inch drill bit, and a level. Screw the two metal L brackets into the wall where you want to place the bookshelf. Avoid damaging the book by using Velcro to ensure that the bracket sits between the internal pages and the back cover. 9. Vintage wooden tennis rackets are the best for this upcycling project. You can take old mirrors to a glass shop and have them custom cut to fit the rim of the rackets. Apply liquid mirror adhesive into the back of the mirrors and attach the custom-sized mirror to the strings of the rackets. Make sure you place the rackets on top of some heavy newspaper to protect the surface you're working on. 
When you're finished, place something heavy on top of the mirrors to ensure that they stick to the rackets. Leave them to dry overnight. 10. Add a cool vibe to a boring bathroom by repurposing an old broken bicycle into a sink stand. You can use a regular white wash basin for this project, and it's also recommended you choose a wooden countertop to complement the look and feel of your vintage bike. If the bike has a basket, you can use it to hold bathroom essentials like towels, extra soaps, and other toiletries. Have a plumber install the plumbing system to ensure that it's functional. 11. Turn old liquor bottles into pendant light fixtures. First, Make sure you use clean bottles for this project. Carefully cut off the bottoms of the bottles with a glass cutter tool and then smooth them down with sandpaper. Insert the wires for the pendant lights inside the bottles and voila! You now have unique, elegant and romantic pendant light fixtures that don't cost a fortune. You can hang them in your dining area or anywhere with a high ceiling. 12. Old wooden frames with peeling or fading paint can be reused as serving trays. You can place any fabric or design you want inside the glass to beautify the tray. Also consider giving the frames some fresh new paint. 13. Use wrenches to hold keys and coats. You can create a DIY key rack for keys, coats, and small tools by adding screws to an old wrench. First. Bend the wrenches to create hooks. Then, drill holes in the wall for the hooks, and then attach the hooks by screwing the screws into the base. Mount the finished product so you can start using it. 14. Make a coat rack from a pipe with valves. Make your own industrial-inspired coat rack made of pipes, fittings, and valves. Clean the pipes and attach the valves, leaving enough space between them for hanging coats. Then. Mount the pipe and valves on the wall and enjoy your new coat rack. And that's all for now. What do you think about this episode? Please share your thoughts about this video in the comment section. For more decorating and organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.